Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devi. So let's begin with the segment of today. Let's begin with the previous day's practice question. Consider the following statements regarding INS Vikrant. The vessel is named Vikrant after the decommissioned maiden carrier of the navy. Over seventy-six percent of the material and equipment on board IAC One is indigenous, and it is expected to have a top speed of thirty knots and is propelled by four gas turbines. So, as you can see, there are too many information. You have to be very well versed with your information. So, as we have to select the correct statement, all these statements are correct. The correct answer is option D. Now, the Vice President. Shri M Venkaiah Naidu recently visited India's indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant in Kochi calling the carrier a great icon for our drive towards atmanirbhar bharat Shri Naidu said that the INS Vikrant is a realization of the nation's dream of an indigenous carrier the vessel to be named Vikrant after the decommissioned maiden carrier of the navy and over 76% of the material and equipment on board IAC1 is indigenous in nature it is expected to have a top speed of 30 knots that is approximately 55 km per hour and is propelled by four gas turbines only five or six nations currently have the capability of manufacturing an aircraft carrier india joins the elite club now so please do see which other countries are capable of doing that consider the following statements regarding brahmaputra river it is known as yarlung in china it originates from the kailash range under the name of budhi dihing sadia is a town in arunachal pradesh where the river enters india so we have to select the correct statement first statement is definitely correct yarlung zangpo or yarlung zangbo it is known in china as that name it originates from the chemyangdang glacier in the kailash range by the name of siang or dihang but not budhi dihing Second is not correct. Yes, Sadia is a town in Arunachal Pradesh from where the river enters India. First and third are correct. Second is wrong. The correct answer is option B. China's new law on land borders came into effect recently, and it comes at a time when border stand of an eastern Ladakh remains unresolved, and several places in Arunachal Pradesh have been renamed by China as a part of the claim on the Indian state. They say Arunachal Pradesh is South Tibet. The Brahmaputra River. originates under the name of siang or dihang from the chemyangdang glacier of the kailash range near the mansarovar lake and enters west of sadia town remember west of sadia town in arunachal pradesh the river is also known as yarlung sangpo in china and it has the tributaries of dibang lohit siang budhi dihing tista and dhansari it is a perennial river which has several peculiar characteristics due to its geography and prevailing climatic conditions and the river is in itself dynamic as frequent landslides and geological activity force it to change the course very often which is a problematic situation moving on which of the following is r the characteristics of semiconductors so we have to select the characteristics of it these are formed due to ionic bond and positive temperature coefficient they have only four valence electrons in the outermost orbit they have so as we have to select the correct statement first statement is not correct because they are formed due to covalent bond and they have negative temperature coefficient so first and second are not correct but third is definitely correct the correct answer is option c recently there has been an abrupt and cascading shortage of semiconductors worldwide we have covered this in one of our in new series Semiconductors are materials which have conductivity between conductors and non-conductors or insulators. And semiconductors can be pure elements such as silicon or germanium or compounds such as gallium arsenide or cadmium selenide. They are also known as integrated circuits or most commonly just chips. They may be the tiniest yet most exacting product ever manufactured on a global scale. They have four valence electrons in their outermost orbit and are formed due to covalent bonding. conductors are formed due to metallic bonding and insulators are formed due to ionic bonding and the valence and conduction band in a semiconductor are separated by a forbidden energy gap of the given one resistance is high in semiconductors whereas it is very small in conductors and very high in insulators semiconductors have negative temperature coefficients consider the following statements regarding the draft national air sports policy the policy proposes the setting up of an apex governing body called the air sports federation of india 
and the ASFI will be an autonomous body under the Ministry of Civil Aviation. So we have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer is option C. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has released a draft national air sports policy that will require entities providing these services and their equipments to be registered as well as be liable for penalties and the policy proposes a two-tier governance structure for air sports in the country which will include an apex governing body called the Air Sports Federation of India and associations for each air sport. The ASFI will be the autonomous body under the Ministry of Civil Aviation and will represent India at the Lausanne, that is Switzerland, headquartered Federation Aeronautic International and other global platforms related to air sports. It will provide governance over various aspects of air sports, including regulation, certification, competitions, awards and penalties. It is proposed that popular air sports attraction in the country such as Bir Billing in Himachal Pradesh, Gangtok in Sikkim, Hadda Psar in Maharashtra and Vagamon in Kerala can be declared as a controlled zone for air sports in order to ensure the safety of other manned aircraft. Moving on, with reference to agreement on prohibition of attacks against nuclear installations and facilities, consider the following statements. The agreement has been signed between India and China and according to this agreement, two countries have to inform each other of the nuclear facilities. Only nuclear power and research reactor installations are covered under the agreement, so we have to select the correct statement. This agreement has been signed between India and Pakistan. And according to it, this agreement, two countries have to inform each other of the nuclear facilities is correct. And other than nuclear power and research reactor installations, many other segments are also covered by it. So only second is correct. The correct answer is option B. Recently, India and Pakistan have exchanged a list of their nuclear installations. The exchange was in accordance with the Article 2nd of Agreement on Prohibition of Attacks against nuclear installations and facilities between Pakistan and India. And according to this agreement, both the countries have to inform each other of the nuclear installations and facilities. This is kind of a trust-building initiative. And this was signed in 1988, ratified in 1991. This was the 31st consecutive exchange of the list between the two neighboring countries. Nuclear power and research reactors are included, fuel fabrication, uranium enrichment, isotopes, separation, and reprocessing facilities as well as any other installations with fresh or irradiated nuclear facilities and any materials in any form and establishments storing significant quantities of radioactive materials are all included under the term nuclear installations and facilities. Moving on. With reference to National Ganga Council, consider the following statements. It has the responsibility for the superintendence of pollution, prevention and rejuvenation of River Ganga only and the meeting of the council is chaired by the Prime Minister. So we have to select the correct statement. Second is definitely correct. First is not because the superintendence of pollution, prevention as well as rejuvenation spans across the River Ganga and its tributaries as well. So other rivers are also included. Option B is correct. Recently, Sri G. Ashok Kumar, additional secretary, Ministry of Jal Shakti took over as the new Director General for the National Mission for Clean Ganga, Ministry of Jal Shakti. And the National Ganga Council was formed under the Environment Protection Act of 1986. It has been given overall responsibility for the superintendence of pollution prevention and rejuvenation of River Ganga Basin, including Ganga and its tributaries. The meeting of the council is chaired by the Prime Minister. And NMCG acts as an implementation arm of National Ganga Council. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the Pangongso Lake. It is situated at the north of the Spangur Gap. It is the world's highest freshwater lake. Pangongso is a Mandarin word, so we have to select the correct statement or statements. First statement is definitely correct. Second is not. Why? Because although it is the world's highest lake, it is not freshwater, it is saltwater lake. And Pangongso is a Tibetan word. So second and third are incorrect. First is correct. Option A will be the correct answer. Continuing with infrastructure buildup on its side of the area near the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, China is building a new bridge on Pangongso. The bridge will provide an additional access to deploy troops faster between the north and the south banks of the lake that is closer to the RAC. Pangongso is situated at a height of almost 4,350 meters and is the world's highest saltwater lake. 
Its water, which seems to be dyed in blue, stands in stark contrast to the arid mountains surrounding it. Extending to almost 160 kilometers, one third of the Pangong So Lake lies in India. Two third is in China. Pangong Lake, one of the most fabulously famous lakes in Leh Ladakh, derives its name from the Tibetan word Pangong So. It means high grassland lake. It is situated north of the Spangod Gap, as you can see in the map. Moving on, with respect to Sark, consider the following statements: The Secretariat of Sark is in Dhaka, Nepal. Is the current chair of SARC, so we have to select the correct statement. Secretariat of SARC is in Kathmandu, Nepal, not in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And Nepal is the current chair of SARC. Option B is correct. Pakistan on Monday reiterated its offer to host the long-pending summit of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, which was established with the signing of SARC Charter in Dhaka on 8 December 1985. It has eight member states, namely Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Secretariat of the association was set up in Kathmandu on 17 January 1987. It operates on the principle of consensus, and the summit cannot be held even if one member decides not to attend. And Nepal is the current chair of SARC. Consider the following statements with respect to advanced traffic management system. It will identify those vehicles which do not have valid papers. The Ministry of Road Transport has made ATMS mandatory on all new expressways only. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. First is correct. Second is not because apart from new expressways, national highways are also under the ambit of it. So option A is the correct answer. The NHAI is testing a new system. Which will tell authorities if a vehicle has valid registration, pollution certificates, and other documents or not. The NHAI is currently testing the system of on Delhi Meerut Expressway, Eastern Peripheral Expressway, and some other places. It will identify those vehicles which do not have valid papers, and the data will be shared with local traffic police for issuing chalans. All this will be made possible by capturing the number plate of the vehicle. This will tell ATMS about the insurance of the vehicle. About the age of it, pollution certificate, and CNG kit testing certificate, since the system will be linked to the RTO database. Instead of placing barricades, the traffic policeman will issue chalans only to those vehicles which will be flagged by the system, and the chalan will be issued without stopping the vehicle. It will be the responsibility of the local traffic police to collect the amount later. And in case of commercial vehicles, the system will also check for valid fitness certificate. The Ministry of Road Transport has made ATMS mandatory on all new expressways and national highways being built. Which amongst the following has become the world's first three trillion US dollar company? The correct answer is option D, Apple. US technology giant Apple has become the world's first company to hit a stock market valuation of three trillion US dollars. And the firm's share price has risen by around fifty eight hundred percent since co-founder and former chief executive Steve Jobs unveiled the first ever iPhone in two thousand seven. However, its value slipped a little from that milestone to end Monday's trading session in New York at two point nine nine trillion. Apple has been one of the biggest winners of the pandemic as coronavirus lockdown saw spending on gadgets jump. With respect to Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center, consider the following statements. It was launched in 2020. It is headquartered at Bangalore, so we have to select the statement which is or are not correct. First statement is not correct because it should be 2018 and it is headquartered at New Delhi, so both are not correct. The correct answer is option C. The Union Home Secretary released three manuals and a newsletter of the I4C, that is Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Centre under the Cyber and Information Security Division of the Ministry of Home Affairs. These manuals are Cyber Hygiene for Cyberspace Do's and Don'ts Basic Manual, Cyber Hygiene for Cyberspace Do's and Don'ts Advanced Manual, and Quarterly Newsletter Cyber Prava. IC4 was approved in October 2018 to deal with all types of cyber crimes in a comprehensive and coordinated manner. It has seven components: National Cyber Crime Threat Analytics Unit, Cyber Crime Reporting Portal, Training Center. Ecosystem Management Unit, Cyber Crime Research and Innovation Center, Forensic Laboratory Ecosystem, Cyber Crime Investigation Team, that is Platform Force Joint Cyber Crime Investigation Team. The state of the art center is located in New Delhi. 
Moving on to the practice question for the next segment, consider the following statements. Braille is a tactile writing system which uses six dots to represent each alphabet and number. Article 47 of the Indian Constitution provides protection to persons with disability. The subject of relief of the disabled and unemployable is specified in the state list in the seventh schedule of the Constitution. So we have to select the correct statement or statements. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.